Hi all, it's Denise and I'm playing in my studio today with some assemblage pieces, which is kind of switching it up a bit. Um, I've been playing with my jelly plate printing, with cold wax, with doing collage, and I'm gonna uh, work on a couple of assemblage pieces today. And it's kind of a quick, quick version. Um, and I wanna show you mainly one of my favorite things to do when I'm out shopping in thrift stores. But first, uh, these are the pieces that I just finished. This one is a box. Actually, it was a frame, a shadow box frame that already has the glass in it. I covered it with papers that I had printed on my jelly plate. Um, I Bits and pieces pulled together. They just magically come together uh, sometimes. I've had this little Statue of Liberty and wadded up some newsprint and stuck it in there. Um, I have a couple of springs over here on the side that have uh, gears from watches holding them in place. And, um, you know, a little newsprint, a little bit of everything. And the title of this is All Wound Up. Kind of where I feel like we are. But um, so this one I just finished. I typically do the backs too so that everything is finished off. So that's one that I just completed. This is the other piece also done on a frame. I got three of these frames at a local thrift store, so I kind of worked with those. This one's a little bit more about travel. It's got a compass, it's got a watch, it's got a section of a tortoise shell, which is pretty cool. Postcards, the word embark, and um, Copies of vintage checks, not, not copies, but actually vintage checks. Um, just ephemera that I've picked up at different little flea markets and put them all together here. And this one also has glass that every, all of the things inside kind of float on. And then I took a vintage photo frame from an old photograph and used that as the frame cut a piece of glass and put that behind so that the front is protected. But um, that is how I finish that off. And I also, I don't know if you can tell, I added a piece of Mylar paper to the back that is printed, has a printed text on it, which is kind of neat when you have it up to the light because you can actually see the light through and it really gives the pieces the feel of just floating. So those are two pieces that I've done and I'm gonna get those out of the way because this is what I started with. It was a photo frame, Christmas photo frame that I picked up at the thrift store for $2. There's my tag, $2. Um, what I ended up doing is taking the backing off. Trying to, trying to get the backing off. I don't care too much if everything is, the paper on here is torn because I'm not going to use that. Rip off the price tag and there you go. I've got this great photo frame to work with. It's got glass. This is stationary glass. It doesn't come out. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead first and cover this in paper. And I have my paper all laid out here. It's a really pretty, just a script uh, paper, very thin, not quite as thin as a tissue paper, but very thin. I'm gonna lay that over and it doesn't bother me that I see the print, the touches of red beneath it. I don't think that is because I'm going to add some red pieces into my assemblage. So I think that's gonna work fine. So let me go ahead and cover that. It's pretty basic. I use my golden regular uh, matte gel medium. It's kind of thick and I like that because it has less water and the paper doesn't ripple quite so much. However, it doesn't bother me when the paper ripples. Sometimes if it really ripples, I'll sand it and then 
um, do an antique glaze on it to kind of really give it the old feel. But let's see how this one turns out. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to cover this and speed it up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing, but I'm pretty sure you probably already know how to do this. So here I go. Okay, I like how that uh, red floral is coming through the paper. It really doesn't read as Christmas. Um, the detail around here is not going to really matter because I'm going to put a frame on this. And I am going to put a backing on it. So I'm going to let this sit and dry and then I'll come back and I'll show you how I'm going to finish this off. So hold tight. Okay, so I've got that done. I got my box covered covered on both sides, scraped, went in with a little razor blade, scraped all the glue, the uh, gel medium off of my glass, cleaned that up. And then I think what I am going to do is I'm going to take uh, a piece of sandpaper and just rough up my edges. Smooth out the whole thing. Uh, because my inside edges are going to show so uh, I did a little sanding. I actually did a little bit more than that, but that will suffice for what I'm showing you. You uh, just take a medium grade sandpaper and, and sand up your edges. Then what I'm gonna do is I have uh, this antique wax for chalk paint that uh, is from Michaels, and I really love this dark wax. It is really nice to work with because all I'm gonna do just take a little piece of paper towel and rub it in. Okay, so that was pretty simple. Get a little bit here and there you go so there that's what it would look like without this is what it looks like now with a little bit of the dark wax so what I'm going to do now because I already know the pieces I'm putting in here and a couple of them are going to protrude beyond this uh, edge so I made a little frame out of just balsa wood whoops that's going to allow me that once I put my glass and I cut my own glass to the size I wanted and then I just took a little washi tape and, and put it on the edges because when you look sideways you will see uh, the balsa wood pieces and this piece of glass that's why I covered the balsa wood pieces with the same paper that I did the frame with put the washi tape on here this is going to sit up, which now is raised about a quarter of an inch off of the frame. And then once again, I'm going to use one of my old uh, vintage photo frames from a vintage um, photograph. These are really great to work with. And then you can use the photograph for something else. So that is the frame. This is the $2 frame I picked up at the thrift store. And now I'm going to take a few moments 
figure out what I'm doing with all these items that I plan on putting in my frame. I think that's it. And when I come back, I will have it all together for you. Okay, so here we are the next day and I've got my assemblage finished. Um, here you go. It turned out really, I'm pretty pleased with it. I'm actually pretty happy with all three of these. I love these, these frames that I found at the thrift store and can't believe I almost hesitated on buying them. I paid $6 for all three of these frames and I've gotten three pieces out of that purchase. Um, as you might remember, I was going to put this vintage uh, photo frame around it, but once I, I got my glass edged with the washi tape, I really liked the way that popped. And if you remember the little uh, balsa wood squares that I covered with the fabric, everything blends in pretty nicely and looks finished off. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out and figured I didn't need the frame anyway. I did on the back side also do the mylar with the text that shows through. So you can see that it, um, it's transparent with light behind it. And what you probably can't see is the text in there is a gold metallic and it's text out of a dictionary that's about memento, memories, uh, memoirs. So that's kind of the theme of what this piece is. There's a little couple right here hugging a little two little children, um, dice, uh, spools of thread, a little... Um, gauge in the back, just, just things that are mementos, um, and a piece of uh, measuring tape with the number 47, could be a 47th anniversary, but this is um, all about memories, and I was pretty happy how that turned out, especially my framing, and then of course you remember, the other one was all about embarking on travel, life adventures, with a compass and a watch, and um, checks of course you need checks for that and then my signature is always a little metal plate with my name stamped into it and that's on the back of all of my pieces and then this one was a little bit more of a political statement all wound up that is um kind of self-explanatory and this one I could put it back on because I do like to hide the backs where things are glued, but it didn't bother me so much on this and I did like being able to, ha to have the back completely open. So there you go. That is my three pieces out of my $6 purchase at a thrift store. Um, I hope this will help you keep your eye open when you're, you know, out and about and looking at garage sales, estate sales, tag sales, thrift stores, and there's a lot of things that can be used for your substrate to build your assemblage on. So I hope you like this, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you get a chance to try it out yourself. Bye-bye.